Hey, what's up everybody? Mike here. And in this video, I'm going to be doing a comparison between the Fractal Bowtie Antenna and the Gray Hoverman Antenna. Now the Gray Hoverman Antenna is one that I've never tried before. After finding my solution with the Fractal Bowtie, I quit looking. And in the videos that I have posted on YouTube, I have received a comment on one of them from someone who used to have a bow tie antenna until someone gave him a Gray Hoverman antenna and he said that it worked better. So I was intrigued. And so I built this one. And I built it out of the same materials that I built the fractal bow tie out of, which was the uh, 12 gauge wires. And I hooked it up in my dining room and it worked pretty good. And so I wanted to do a comparison. One thing I didn't want to do was a side-by-side -side comparison uh, because if I move my antenna just a few feet over then reception changes and it would make bias uh, too easy. I could just put my fractal bow tie in the good spot and the Hoverman in the bad spot and say hey the, the, the bow tie works better. So what I did here is I set my antenna up and ran a test and then changed the antennas, putting them in the exact same spot, facing the exact same direction at the exact same height. That way I could get the most honest comparison that I could get. Now here are two stations that I have in the east. VHF stations I have in the red, and UHF stations I have listed in blue. And then here are the stations that I have in the north, which are pretty close to my house. I get them just fine. In fact, uh, all, all these three stations give me all of the networks that I need, so I really have no need to go any further because all of the other stations out there, they carry all the same networks anyway. So anyway, I started with the Gray Hoverman, and here it is facing the east. I performed a channel scan, and my, my TV I have set up out here, it has a four bar meter, and so if I get four bars and I get a full signal. And so then I hooked up the fractal bow tie facing the east and sorry for the bad picture but it's hard to see the antenna but I promise you it's there. And so here are the numbers. Channels in the east are on the top, channels in the north are on the bottom, and these are the numbers that both of them brought in. And the Hoverman actually outperformed the fractal bow tie facing the east. I was quite impressed. And so then I turned them to the north. Here is the gray Hoverman facing the north. And then here's the fractal bow tie facing the north. And down below, here are the results. Now each one of these antennas had channels that it didn't pick up. In uh, facing the north, the fractal bow tie did pretty good. Of course, both of these antennas are both UHF antennas. And I don't have a reflector on either one of these. It's just the antenna in the raw in the nude. But overall, the Hoverman is a great antenna. Uh, the, they, they're, they're both great antennas. They both have their advantages. And so uh, I decided to try the Hoverman in my attic. Well, it, it didn't really fit. I mean, this thing is huge. I got it up as high as I can get it, and I got it to where it wasn't touching anything, but I couldn't turn it. Had I had a bigger attic, this, this antenna would have been probably great. But since my attic is so small, and the fractal bow tie works great for me, I'll just stick with that. Unless there's something that I can do to make it smaller. And since I really like how the two long elements work very well, and I like incorporating fractals, with a little bit of thought and some stapling and some editing, here's what I came up with. And I call it the Tuxedo. And this thing really works great. It's a lot shorter. If you have a small attic, this thing will fit. And I went ahead and replaced a couple of my antennas with this thing. And it's great. The idea is basically the same, but all the measurements are different. And in my next video, I'll show you all the specs to it and how I built it. Thanks for watching. 